Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today we're painting a 64 roller mixer under $50 with spray paint. As you guys can see, I already had uh, prepped the unit. Um, I use foil. I used to be a painter. That was my profession years ago. So I learned to use foil because it's very easy to manipulate and then it will protect. It will help you mask things easier. But you can also use duct tape. Or you can use masking paper. Whatever it is available and easier for you to use. I have um, I sanded down the unit with sandpaper. Dry sand. I didn't wash to do that. And as you can see, I had spray primer in certain areas where the metal was exposed on this unit. It's not gonna be a perfect job, but it's gonna look good. Under $50. Primer by Ross Oleum. The paint that I use is Hammered by Ross Oleum. And this texture, with this texture, this is what I use. Silver. Um, about two cans to paint the whole unit. The reason I didn't spray the whole unit is because I'm gonna spend more paint. I'm gonna waste more paint that way. And as you guys can see, it, it doesn't it doesn't need to be primed. That will also help uh, cover much faster than if we would to have primer on it. So that's why I didn't spray the whole unit with primer because it doesn't need it. So, these are paint, rose volume, and finally a protection uh, coat of clear, and is this one, crystal clear animal. Um, be careful when uh, spraying this one, because if you're not careful, it's gonna drip, it's gonna uh, run in your paint, so you need a distance, a pretty decent distance to apply the clear. Um, let me see if I can show you. About this distance and I keep it, you need to keep it moving up and down, up and go that way. This is the motion that you will be applying. Again, don't stay too much in one area with this because it's gonna drip, the paint is gonna the clear is gonna run on you so be careful with this but what this does is also protect the paint if you wash the unit in my it will protect it uh, not a hundred percent but it will help so I remove since this mixer is gonna be available for sale so I did everything I removed it the wheel I removed the locking handles um, and I mask everything that needs to be masked. Um, all the information is done. Like I said, I use oil. I'm gonna be kind of don't worry about this. So the paint gets in there. It's, it's all right. Clean the surface with uh, acetone to get the, rid of, of any excess of oil. So clean it good. Again, sandpaper, dry sandpaper. I use 220, you can use finer sandpaper, but I was using 220. And for the rougher uh, sections, like a exposed metal, I was using 180. So, but on the areas that are good, you don't need to use rough sandpaper yes the reason to do to um, use the sandpaper on the paint is to allow the paint to grip if you just paint over the paint might peel off so by sanding it down your chances of the paint to sticking to the old paint are much greater uh, if we do not to sand it down so that's the reason why I send. I will. I always send send it down 
so it'll allow the paint to grip much better. And clean it pretty good. Clean it with acetone first. Wash with soap. Again, protect your sanitary if you're gonna wash. This area, usually when I wash it, is dry wash. I do spray my soap, but I don't use any excess of water on this section to protect my planetary of water. So I'll show you the final process. I'm gonna start painting it. Protect yourself with a respirator, a mask, so this paint doesn't get into your body. So different video, but again, painting a mixer under $50. Okay guys, we are into our final coat. About two coats already have been applied. And we're gonna do our third one. So on those two coats, only one can have been spent because I didn't spray, use primer on the whole unit. So one can and I already have two coats of paint on it. This is how we do it. Okay, I'm ready to apply our final coat of silver. This is how I do it. Pay attention to the distance that I use. That's what it takes. We're ready for clear. Now we're gonna let it dry for about five to ten minutes before applying our clear. So important to let it dry. So you guys, I might show you the process of applying clear. Like I said, the distance and the speed is very important. If you do it too slow, you're gonna you clear, it's gonna run on the mixer. So it's not gonna look good. So 
public distance with this movement like this this is how I would do it and not too slow like I said the speed is important so the clear doesn't run on you I'm giving it about five minutes not so sure if I'm gonna record the process because there is music all the time on this behind us so I need to pause and then go pause and go because the music is you took the schedule for the copyrights on those things so I might show you the process if I'm lucky to wait for these guys to for the paint to dry. Okay hey guys I wasn't able to show you the process with the clear but the reason is that there is music all day long here so you see my videos that I'm running to my phone is because the music is about to start so I had to go and pause but anyways this is not bad for a $50 paint job this is how it came off um, this is what I mean by running if you're not careful with the clear it's gonna run on you so this is what happened but still it's not bad I don't know you see the, ch the shadows on the silver it's kind of that usually happens when we apply the clear for whatever reason you always uh, leave those type of shadows or lines in it so there's, I think there's no way to get rid of those lines but this is the final process she has been already painted under $50 so it's good enough um, the main the main uh, how can I say this the most important thing on this machine is the transmission so a paint job is just gonna make your mixer look fancy but or nicer but what it matters is that transmission on it so Thank you for watching. Hope you guys liked this video. Something different. Painting your mixer under $50. And you can do whatever color you want also. Solid, solid colors. Or silver, metallics. Doesn't matter how you want your mixer. You can do it with spray paint. So, hope you guys like this video. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.